Hey there guys, it's that time again. It's time for the owners only meeting. And listen, that's the deal. If you're not an owner, you can't come to this meeting unless you are a general manager who is the key decision maker. Why? Because we're gonna talk about numbers in these meetings. Profit numbers, overhead numbers, expense numbers, uh, forecast numbers, numbers related to divisions and to profit centers and to categories. The bottom line is this coming meeting, which is October the 20th, 2 p.m. Eastern, just like it always is, is completely about numbers. I'm going to pull back the veil for you. Um, you guys have been really kind to me, and some of you are so complimentary and say, you know, I want to be with you more, Donna. I want to know what you know. Well, here's the deal. I figured things out ahead of time relative to dollars, and there is one place where I go behind the secret curtain and I get a lot of my data from. I'm going to reveal that to you on October 20th. Very simply, there's one session at URSA every year that I won't miss. As a matter of fact, sometimes I don't even get to go to URSA, but I will fly in just for this session. That's how important I see it is for trends and watching what's going on with our industry. I'm going to have the person that runs that session at our next owners only meeting. So I go to the financial panel so that I can see the predictors of what's happening. And I love the fact that it's all based on real data from one year to the next in our industry. So on October the 20th at 2 p.m., we're gonna be with Rick Caro and you're gonna be learning the current club industry's financial headlines and the future the current club industry's financial headlines and the future. So with real proven data from one year to the next, because he's a data guy, if I could give you a crystal ball that you could look, look into, you would look at Rick's data to know what to do for your club for the future. I mean, this stuff is incredible. I base all our company's moves on what I see trending. So just to give you a few ideas of what's going to happen on October 20th, the winds are at our back the fitness industry. They are. That's a good thing. And we're going to go into detail in our conversation about exactly how the winds are at our back and how you can capitalize on that. We're going to go over, well, if you're thinking about building on, adding another location, you need to get more money for something. He's going to be talking to you about where to get it and like I said, real data from one year to another. He's going to show you as crystal ball like as possible what moves to make to get what you need for your facility in terms of dollars. He's going to give you performance dollars, real data, based on everything from the huge clubs to the little tiny boutique clubs and everything in between. Uh, he's going to tell you where you should be investing to get a maximum return. He's going to help you know your competition intimately because he's got data on every kind of competition that you could possibly have. Uh, we're going to go over the, the seven ways to increase income that you need to know about. And the good news for you and I is we are already into most of these. Getting dollars from new joiners, what, what's the most successful way that's happening? Getting dollars from retaining members, what are the most successful practices there? Uh, how to charge higher fees for your facility, uh, building non-dues ancillary income, uh, increasing the value with outside money for your club, and then even for members that aren't on site in your club, how to make money off of them. So I know this is a lot of stuff. I mean, I talked to Rick already, and my, you can see the tons of notes that I took. October 20th, 2 p.m. You got to be there. It's owners only. This is all about the dollars you have, the dollars you want to get, the dollars you need to invest, where the smart money's at, and all based on real life data from our industry one year to the next. I'll see you on October 20th.